We start tonight with an update on a six fix story that we've been following for weeks now in Cameron. People living at the Williams Trace Apartments are still not back in their apartment units after major flooding. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander spoke to tenants who didn't know this process would take so long. Adriana? Lindsay, if you remember back in early May, I visited Williams Trace as people living there were dealing with major flooding every time it rained. Well, since then, at least eight people have been relocated to and relocated to different units. Williams Trace property owner Stephen Poe told me the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality or TCEQ determined the city of Cameron was not at fault for the flooding issue. So Poe hired a company to build a ditch to better drain water at the complex, but that company suddenly stopped the project and Poe says they haven't kept in contact with him since. Tenants say they have been patiently waiting to get back into their units, but they are now becoming restless. I just don't seem like anybody wants to help. Uh, my neighbor calls uh, Joseph, the uh, manager, on a regular basis to check up because everybody wants to go home. We're tired of them with the bugs. Nobody's wanting to fix anything. Most of the people living at Williams Trace are either disabled or in Section 8, so moving would be difficult. At 6, we'll hear from Stephen Poe about when he believes people will be able to get back into their homes. Lindsay? It's so great that you're holding everybody accountable yes. there for those residents that are eager to get back home. All right, thanks so much, Adriana.